Hey everyone, it's Nat Alablas here, digital marketing strategist and passive income coach. I help women take the hustle out of running a business. Today I wanted to share with you a quick video on how you can do some keyword research in Pinterest. Yes, you can actually do keyword research in Pinterest. That way you can optimize your Pinterest account so that your potential audience can find you on Pinterest. So the purpose of doing keyword research in Pinterest is to find out exactly what phrases and search terms your potential audience are using when they're looking up uh, topics or niches or you know brands or even businesses relating to what you do. So what we need to do is find out what phrases they're using, what keywords they're using, and then you can use these words to optimize your Pinterest account. And I'll go through that with you step by step. So the first thing to do is go into the search bar here and just type in a very general word or phrase to do with your business. I'm going to use the example of for a makeup artist. So I'm going to type in makeup. And what this does now is show us this horizontal row beneath with a whole bunch of other words and phrases. So you've got for beginners, looks, products, wedding, natural, and you can actually scroll across. Now these here, they're actually your keywords, believe it or not. So this information here is gold. So these are the words that people would use when they're searching for makeup. Uh, and you can actually click on any of these and they should drill down even further. So if I click on bridal makeup, it now comes up with some more options there, some more keywords relating to bridal makeup. So we've got blonde, pink, natural, Asian, romantic, and a scroll across. So when you're going through these keywords, just pull out the ones that are relevant to you, the ones that are relevant to your business or your blog post or your topic or brand or what have you, and just keep note of these keywords. Because once you've done that, you can now go ahead and optimize your, your Pinterest account using these keywords. So the ways that you would do that, firstly, is uh, I'll just bring up an example of a popular pin. So let's have a look. Um, let's click on this one here. Let's have a look how they've used keywords. Okay, so in the, uh, the Pinterest or the pin description over here, you would create a really detailed description and you would include some of your keywords. So she's included here wedding, brides, um, bridal hairstyle, makeup looks. Um, and by doing that, you're actually giving the Pinterest search engine the clues that they need to know that, hey, you know, your Pinterest account is about makeup, about wedding makeup, and hey, someone's looking for wedding makeup, so I'm gonna show your pin in their feed. So you really need to give these clues. There's no point writing some fluffy description that doesn't have any keywords in it at all. It's just a waste of time. So that's one way you would optimize your account. Another way would be uh, with your board names. So I'll just bring up some board name examples. So these are some board names relating to bridal makeup. And as you can see in the names here, the people have actually put in, you know, makeup bridal, hair and makeup bride, wedding and bridal makeup, makeup bridal ideas. Because when people are searching for things in Pinterest, they don't have to just search the pins. They can search for people relating to that topic, or they can search for boards if they want to follow some boards with some great pins. So when you're creating your boards and you're choosing a board name, make sure that you use some of your keywords uh, in the board name so that, uh, again, Pinterest can share your boards with your potential audience. And one final way I'm going to share with you how you can optimize your Pinterest is by optimizing your actual profile. So I'll just bring up my profile example here. So I've used my keywords in my name. So I've named myself Nat Alablast Digital Marketing Strategist because digital marketing are some of my keywords. And then in the description here, I've written all things SEO, social media, affiliate marketing, email list, etc, etc. And that's what I've done to optimize. And so there's three ways that you can optimize your Pinterest. So don't forget using keywords in your product description, uh, in your board names and in your profile as well. So yeah, keyword research is really vital and it's something that you should do from the very beginning. Um, if you've already created pins but you haven't optimized them, you can go back and just edit the description and then use the keywords that you've now found. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got a lot out of this video and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.